Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. I have a new discovery about the 2015 Goosebumps movie. Um, for all of us, we all know, as major Goosebumps fans, that the haunted mask is in the film for like a split second. Not even that, like half a second. Uh, the camera's moving around, showing all the monsters, and you can kind of see a girl skipping and doing, doing her little girly activity, skipping down the little street, and she has a green head. It's a green mask. It's the haunted mask. It's supposed to be Carly Beth wearing the haunted mask in that first movie. Now, I did make a video a while back about one of these movie tie-in books that I have for Haunted Halloween, the second film from 2018, and how the haunted mask was supposed to be the guy with the troll outfit, like the, the hunchback guy. And um, there's also new evidence that I found that in the first film there was supposed to be a cut scene from the 2015 film with Carly Beth as the haunted mask and I want to talk about that with you, and I want to show you my proof of how I know that exists. Now, uh, these movie tie-ins can be good and bad. If you haven't seen a film yet and you happen to get them when you're a kid or anything, they can spoil the movie for you. That's what happened with Star Wars Episode Three for me when I was a kid. They had the little graphic novel adaptation of the original first draft of the script come out as a full-fledged comic book from Dark Horse Comics. I still have my copy somewhere around in here, and it spoiled the film for me. I loved it. I was excited because I was a huge Star Wars fan at the time. And uh, so I was fine with that, you know, but a lot of these movie tie-ins when you were a kid in the 90s and the early 2000s could spoil things for you, left and right, all the time. And apparently Goosebumps attempted to do, to do the same thing in certain respects with the Goosebumps Monster Survival Guide book. Um, I never read this, I've had it sitting around, I just haven't read it for whatever reason, I just, I don't know. I haven't even reviewed the first movie, I've just reviewed the second one of the tie-in books of the second film, Haunted Halloween. Um, I will get around to reviewing the film at some point. It's going to be my own little timing. I don't know. I've seen the film so many times since I bought it about a year or two ago. Wow, that wind's vicious out there. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It scared me. I thought someone was trying to get in my house, in my window, right there where I'm sitting. Um, anyway, <laughs> Monster Survival Guide, it kind of covers the monsters, right? And it has, like, these cool little references to, like, the last time you saw them, right? Like, each, each chapter, if you want to call it a chapter, of the book is a picture of the monster and then like a little write-up about who they are, what book they appeared in. It's kind of like an advertisement for the individual books that R.L. Stein wrote in the classic series that were being reissued at the time for this. Uh, I believe they were. The first one in here is the Haunted Mask. And of course you get a really cool close-up photo, which we've seen some photos in the past with tie-in books of Carly Beth as the Haunted Mask in the 2015 film. You can go online and see pictures too. But I thought this was a really cool close-up of Carly Beth. I'm trying to get the glare out of the picture. Yeah, there we go. Of the Haunted Mask. I like how it has the veins sticking out of the forehead and everything. It's a very, very good picture. Um, and I don't want to tell you too much about who Carly Beth is and what the Haunted Mask is in case you haven't read the book. Mind you, if you read this book, there are spoilers in these little write-ups on the side of the page. So I wanted to let you know that ahead of time. Now, I'm not going to tell you any spoilers, so don't worry about that. But I wanted to make this video telling you about how there was a cut scene from the film, the 2015 film, I don't know if it was filmed or not, but apparently it was in the script at some point, according to this book, because they have the little section down here, Know Your Monster, that talks about what book they appeared in last and where their last appearance was. Now, listen to this. Hometown, somewhere near Walnut Avenue Middle School, of course, that's from the book. How to Defeat It, I'm not going to spoil that for people. Favorite song, I've Got You Under My Skin, I thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, Last Scene. Madison High Bathroom, which Madison High is the high school that everybody goes to in the 2015 film. Whether it be Champ, whether it be Hannah, whether it be the main character, Zack. Madison High Bathroom checking out its killer looks. There was supposed to be a scene where they somehow ended up in the bathroom and they saw the haunted mask, or Carly Beth, in there, looking at its own face, touching its face and stuff, in the mirror, probably growling and hissing and whatnot. That's proof, and the way I can prove that is because I went through the book and was looking at other monsters, like the very next page is the Werewolf of Fever Swamp, and when you go over a couple of pages into that discussion, it says, last scene, Madison, Delaware, Amusement Park, which is the end of the film, you know, when the werewolf and all the other monsters are getting sucked up into the book that the film is about. So you have your proof right there. There was going to be a cut scene from the film, whether it was filmed or not, I don't know. But there was supposed to be a scene with the Haunted Mask slash Carly Beth in the 2015 film. Not just some split second, half a second shot of her out in the field walking and skipping and whatnot. It wasn't that. There was supposed to be an actual little scene to give us some love for one of the most 
amazing Goosebump stories out there. One of the most loved and beloved monsters that have ever existed from R.L. Stein's entire catalog of, of stories that he's written over his lifetime. And we didn't get it. Now, people can argue that it might because it, this idea of this monster looking at its face and touching its face and everything in a mirror, they can argue that that's too silly. This is a comedy movie. L l let's remember that. The Goosebumps 2015 film, as much as I love it and I adore it, you know, I saw this in theaters, I've loved it ever since. As much as I love it, it is not a scary movie. It has some scarier, intense moments to it that I think would frighten kids, but it's definitely not a scary movie. It's more of a Jumanji, um, Zathura-type movie that's more of a comedy thing with some tense scenes, kind of like the first Jumanji movie uh, with Robin Williams. So it's not really fair to use that argument. I, I think it was cut out of the script, is what I suspect. Because I feel like a lot of these books, from what I can tell from novelizations of like The Dark Knight and whatnot, a lot of the time it's not that, thing, it's not that things are cut from the movie, it's that they're not filmed at all because they weren't worthwhile and producers didn't want them or whatnot. So there's a chance this could be a producer's thing that happened here, and this book could be based on a first draft of the Goosebumps film that we got. It's possible. It's possible. But I just thought I'd bring that up. I thought I'd show it to you. I thought it was pretty cool. Something to imagine. You know, the, the haunted mask, Carly Beth looking in a mirror in that bathroom, somewhere in that school while Zack and all of them are doing their thing in the movie. Uh, maybe even while R.L. Stein is trying to type up his script. Maybe he's going from, like, bathroom to the auditorium where he sees The Shining play out there and stuff. Maybe that's something that happened. I don't know. I thought it would have been cool to see R.L. Stein encounter her and not just Champ or Zack or Hannah. But anyway, The Haunted Mask was supposed to be uh, at least having its own standalone love scene in that 2015 film, and they didn't have it. For whatever reason. And I haven't heard anybody talk about this on like IMDB or anything, so I don't know what happened there. I don't know why people aren't talking about that a little bit. I mean, it kind of shows you what these little old-timey books can do for um, kids' movies and kind of things you can find out behind the scenes if you're a big enough fan and you're researching enough on this stuff. I think it's cool. I think it's a very fascinating thing. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Did you want the scene in the movie? Do you think it's fine without it? I think it's fine without it, but I wish I had it. I wish I at least had a deleted scene I could watch of The Haunted Mask looking at itself in the mirror and admiring itself because that would be cool and because I love The Haunted Mask. It's great stories. All four of the books are good. Um, some are fantastic. Well, three out of the four are fantastic. Perfect. But uh, anyway, what are your thoughts? Put them down below, guys. Uh, happy Easter. Thank you for watching. And may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today. And goodbye.